Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Tesla on Mare. My name is Leon. Guys, we need to talk. The dead MOSFET army is getting bigger and bigger and they're literally everywhere now. Yesterday in the afternoon I was working in my greenhouse. And then I saw this. Of course, this is a serious problem, but I think I know the solution. We need a weapon. Maybe we can build a Tesla coil gun. This has to be our new project. Up to this point, we always run our Tesla coils with variable transformers and lab power supplies. This is of course the simplest solution. If we want to build a Tesla coil wirelessly, we have to think about another design, but more about that later. After I have thought about how a Tesla gun should look like, I put my thought directly on paper. Since the paper drawing doesn't really help that much, I started to design something with Fusion 360. Pooh, and that took me some hours of time. In this animation you can see my current Tesla gun design. I try to keep the Tesla gun as compact as possible. But this is actually not so easy because we need a few more components for a decent Tesla coil. However, let me tell you, it all fits. Metal plates are embedded in the handle so you can ground the coil. <laughs> That's safe. The three holes on the side are used to implement potentiometers, which are responsible for voltage regulation, pulse width and pulse frequency adjustment. In this cylinder at the back of the Tesla gun a high voltage capacitor is installed, which will later supply the half bridge. It should be charged by a ZVS driver. Everything else, the ZVS driver, the interrupter, feedback, GDT, GDT driver and the half bridge will be placed into the housing. The cover can be clamped easily. What is missing now is a power supply. A 14.8 volt LiPo battery fits perfectly into the handle. There is also enough storage space for terminals. The shutter at the bottom is held by magnets. I'm very happy with the design so far but I think I have to make a few changes during the production phase of the Tesla gun. This here was my first version, which I 3D printed. I wanted to see if everything would fit together the way I envisioned it. As you can see, you can easily remove the cover from the housing. The gun itself consists out of several parts, which has to be glued together later, but let's put the prototype aside. For the production of the Tesla gun, the company 3 d Jack sponsored me two rolls of PLA filament. This will be enough in any case. Thank you so much for that. The link to the filament is in the video description. The 3D printer is on, now we start with printing all the parts. Unfortunately, that take a really long time. And if you make mistakes like I did, it takes even longer. The disadvantage of 3D printing is that the surface is not perfect after printing. That's why I burn off the stringing first. Then I remove rough unevennesses with a sharp blade. Once that is done, it goes to sanding. The best way is with water. Since I'm not yet satisfied with the surface, I now apply spray filler. And that in several layers. And now we have to sand again. We repeat this procedure with all components. And that's it. Now we glue all parts together with two component adhesive. I have to install the electrolytic capacitor now, because I will glue the cylinder as well. To make the surface even better, I apply another layer of filler. And sand again. This already looks very cool, now it's time to paint the Tesla gun. I decided to use a metallic grey.
After painting the gun we add two layers of varnish. And done! Some of you may have noticed that the 3D printer model looks different from the animation I showed you in the beginning of the video. As I had already predicted, I have redesigned the model a bit. I think the design looks even cooler now. If you want to build the Tesla gun, you can download all 3D printing files. The link is in the video description. This is what the current design looks like. Besides a few optical improvements, I made the handle more manageable. Also the secondary coil is now protected from flashovers by an acrylic tube. Basically I just work according to the PDCA cycle, plan, do, check, act. The result is impressive, the Tesla gun looks like it is from a science fiction movie. My plan is that the Tesla gun will operate at a frequency of 1 MHz. The advantage of this high frequency is that the discharges will most likely be sword-like and nice and bright. The disadvantage is that it will be a challenge for us to drive a half bridge at this frequency. But we will definitely manage that. Somehow we have to stop the dead MOSFET army. And here again a comparison of the two models. So guys, now we reach the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you don't want to miss part 2 of building the Tesla Gold Gun, please subscribe my channel, leave a comment and then guys, we will see us in the next video.